Hello and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel. I'm Any Art Nettie. Now today I thought I'd show you a video about a collection of diamond paintings I've got over the years and what I think the pros and cons are of them. Now this one at the screen on the screen at the minute is the first one that I got which was actually from a photo and I found that the little squares with it were much detailed. It seemed to be a lot better than the round dots but I think that's a personal preference. Now I can't remember exactly where I got this off. I think it was AliExpress. Now I'm not sponsored or anything. There's no brands who've asked me to do this. I just thought I'd give you my personal opinion on which ones I like best and which ones to avoid. But this was the first one I did and I thought, I think the bigger that you get them, the more detailed the picture is going to be. If you get the smaller ones, they're going to look much more pixelated. So do get them quite big, not just, you know, for the, for the brands who are buying them, but you'll get a better picture. So that that is another one I got because it looks like my cat Toki, I think. It was off Amazon there, as you've seen. It's not brilliant, <laughs> but it was okay. There was a lot of black in it. Again, it was the little round drills, but I, I, I don't know. There you go. You can see a bit more close up there. See, it looks just like her. <laughs> So this was one, I think one of my very first videos on here. So I'm doing a bit of magpieing like David Bowie here. And if you can see half of it, the design was already painted on. Now, if you could get a kit where you paint the design as well, I think that would be a fantastic, unless it already exists. I think that would be brilliant because it felt a bit, um, already the work was done and I'm, I'm not really into that. Maybe it's some people who can't paint or haven't, should I say haven't got the co the confidence to paint. Well that, that suits them and again it's the little round drills. I don't know, in the comments tell me your, your preference whether you prefer the round ones. Now they are quicker because they don't have to fit a certain 90 degree way if you get what I mean. With the squares you do have to get them as straight as you can but yeah I do find the round ones are a bit more I don't like the look of them overall but yeah that was one of the very first videos I did so yeah I I, I liked it it was a good little kit I can't remember exactly I think actually remembering it was off wish and that's where I first found out about these diamond paintings and yeah, probably very cheap it was probably a pound or two or something like that but I think for a beginner one of these cheap ones off Wish or AliExpress you're laughing it could be because you're only learning the technique that's the finished result there so I think yeah the cheaper ones are great if you're just starting and then as you get the hang of it then I think maybe Put your own designs on them and your own photos and you can treasure them a bit more then. So this was a kit I got off, I'll insert the name here. I've done a few videos for them actually and they contacted me and asked would I be able to do some kits for them and do a video. There was, it wasn't for any cash or anything it was just literally to get the word out. Victoria's Moon just remembered Victoria's Moon now I found these were more premium as you can see it's in a bag there which you can seal up again and put all the ones you don't use and they're all labeled up correctly and they are a bit more expensive than you'd find on AliExpress and Oh, the, can you see the print on it as well is really, really clear. Now, I, I really, really like them as well. So I was glad to find it. I'm glad they contacted me because they're, they're definitely the more premium kits, but clear as a whistle. And I've never seen any 
which are printed that well. Now, the only thing for me was the designs on them. It doesn't tell you who the artist is who's done them. Now, I think, again, definitely worth putting your own art on them, where there's a section where you can upload your own photos. And I'd imagine that would work so well with this brand and you get all the trays and everything to put your diamonds in as per usual some of them vary in size the glue to stick them on with so you got your dotter there as well and you use that glue to get the now when I say drills see those little squares that are going on the canvas that's a drill so I have done some videos on diamond paintings before like I said I'm magpieing here off some of my old footage and also there's a video I did testing the different things you can buy to help you with your diamond painting so that's a roller which will roll down all the drills and I'll put a link to that in the description and just here somewhere. If you're on a PC, you'll be able to see that. If not, you'll be able to see it in the description. But that's the result of that one. It's quite freezy, that cat, isn't it? The steampunk cat. But I just wish I knew who the artist was. So that was the only thing missing for me. But apart from that, I, I tell you, I was very grateful to get free diamond paint. All they said to me was... Can you do some videos for us? I haven't heard for them, of them for a while, but I do know that they, the last thing they did was some paint by numbers kits as well. Anyway, I'll put everything I can find in the description so you can find it there. But again, the more premium side of the diamond paintings, but worth it because they're printed well. There, everything's labelled and in little bags, so you can keep them tidy. It's just welly, it's just welly. <laughs> it's just very well thought out and done, and a good solid nine and a half. The only thing for me is, who's the artist? I want to know who they are. So <laughs> that's the only thing for me. This was another one off Victoria's Moon and this was a photo that my partner took. It was in North Wales, a lake there in North Wales. So that's an actual photograph again, printed really clearly and you can differentiate between the different colours. I noticed with some kits with the cheaper side of it, AliExpress and Wish, where the symbols are the same and they put them right close together with each other and this is more like a cross stitch kit isn't it so yeah, brilliant tools with it as well and I wish I could diamond paint that quick but I wouldn't enjoy it as much would I because it would be done but wonderful brilliant kits all in all and this is the result when you send a photograph off to them Again, I got it free, which was really cool. Thank you again if Victoria's Moon are watching. I can't recommend them enough. So for photo-wise, they're 10 out of 10. Upload your own photos, frame them. You've got them forever then, haven't you? So, yeah. Very enjoyable. One thing I found on AliExpress was a diamond kit which is almost like a, a jewellery item that you can hang off your bag so it's like a key ring and I've never seen anything like that before so I thought I'd try them. It was a pack of three. Now I found on one side, on just one of them, it wasn't as tacky as it could have been. 
so I did have to use some glue there. The bags which go with the kit are bags which you can't seal up again but everything else was fine about it and I'll see if I can find it again it might not be the exact same one again I can't remember how much I paid for it but yeah very enjoyable different of course I had to get cats didn't I but yeah God, I remember that was my old desk as well but yeah very good I'd say a 7, 8 out of 10 for that but I'm guessing that there's other, other designs as well you could do but it's just something different from a flat picture where you got actually something 3D or something you can put on your handbag or hang off a keychain and I think actually it would make a good gift as well so good one on Aliexpress there that to find So this is another one I got off a, ooh, where did I get it? AliExpress, actually. I do know the name of the seller, Huacan. Oh, I apologise if I got that completely wrong. But this is off three characters off, I mean, I'd say, favourite TV show. And I love the colours and everything. They did it, there was kind of a... The colours weren't 100% accurate, but it looked really good. And again, it's one that I wouldn't have done on a small canvas. I'd definitely get it bigger because then you're going to get more detail as well. Now, I what I tend to do with pictures with faces in is use a app called Remini. And I put it through that. If you're not sure what that is, it makes photos clearer so if you've got any old photos in your album which you want clearing up and sharpening it might be photos from the 30s or 40s you can put them through this Remini scan them in and put them in Remini and it will clear them up and that's what I do and I then send it off to the diamond painting people and they print it out on a canvas and this was the result and excuse me very nice it was as well and made up and pleased with how it turned out Jodie Con and Rivers yeah so here we go I'll show you a little bit more filling in there uh, satisfying is that ASMR kind of stuff I don't know it's not is it <laughs> shut up anyway so yeah, who I can, brilliant. I, I use them the most now. I've only had one bit of trouble with them. Sorry, this was on AliExpress that I got this. And they sent one with my address on and it didn't put the number house where I live on it. 
it had missed it out. I don't know if that was my fault when I ordered it, but I'd previously ordered off them and they'd come absolutely fine, they arrived. And just this one, I think there was two kits and I never got them, so uh, I don't know where they are. RIP. But I put in a, there seemed to be a really good thing on AliExpress where if something doesn't arrive, you can say, hey, up, where is it? Because it has got tracking on it and they're quite happy to refund you and sort that out and they're very friendly on there so there's no worries like but it would have been nice to receive them but it must have gone to some random's address and I don't know where but other than that just make sure when you do it that it's got your address correct and you can message the sellers on there they're quite happy to chat away and somewhere there you upload the photo onto it and if anyone's unsure you can just ask me in the questions and I'll either do a video or something like that of how to order a photo diamond painting if anyone wants that so you just might have seen there on the screen this is off an old video but as far as I'm concerned the competition's still going because no one's entered for I made a colouring book for my favourite show there which these characters are off and if you comment your favourite character you happen to be a fan as well there's a chance that you can win a colouring book why not do it <laughs> I will be making another one soon actually maybe it'll probably be next year now if we're totally honest but a second follow-up book colouring book to that one which will have puzzles in it as well so look out for that if you're a fellow fan it's it might be quite a niche market but in the first one I did a lot of portraits that you colour in the idea was I'd done a load of portraits of these lovely actors and actresses and I put them all in a book to colour in now everyone's different skill levels everyone's able to colour in but everyone's different skill levels now some people might not be as confident so this second one is going to be more for everyone so if you found that one a bit yikes at least you know you can do this one hopefully it'll be a lot better and a bit more enjoyable for somebody who's who's not as confident at art but there we go never mind but if anyone has bought one of my color i've got two different coloring books actually there's a puddington people one and there's the one with this tv show which is unofficial right ah uh, if anyone's bought one thank you very much i uh i looked on the kindle direct publishing yesterday and i had no idea I think maybe, I think it was like, I couldn't, can't see how many units, but it gave me the total amount histo historically of how many have sold. And I was quite surprised because I, I, I knew of three, I think. And so, you know, what if anyone's bought one? Thank you very much. for. I, I really appreciate you, you supporting an independent artist. See, they don't get published by big book brands or anything like that so oh yeah and also my two friends there have released a book about the show as well just to get that in <laughs> and that's uh, i'll pop that in the description as well if if you're interested in this show you're going to be interested in reading a book about it obviously so there you go there's a just put that in there <laughs> just so you know
so you can see the difference there between the photo I sent and the actual diamond painting how it turned out now this one is one I made as a present for my fiance he loves this particular car for Capri so I sent off the photo and that's the finished diamond painting that's one I got off Amazon actually this motorbike as well and this is the latest one I thought I'd show you where I found it this is the seller I got it off you can also buy them on Amazon where you if it's easier for you you upload the photo and it's a bit more customer friendly I find than Aliexpress just so you can see the different prices there so obviously the bigger you go the better detailed picture you're going to end up with if you order a very small one it's going to be rather pixelated so do go up as much as much as you can you want to purchase as much as you want to buy with that and I thought I'd just show through the description so you could have a read of it now my one of my cats Fluffy passed away recently and we wanted to make a wall for him and I got my fiance to choose his favourite photo I, I like them all I'm an indecisive person so I couldn't pick <laughs> and so I got my fiance to do that and he picked a lovely photo of Fluffy wanted it making into a diamond painting and I think it must be less than two weeks it got here it's not in the UK unfortunately they do get good reviews on this but it came within two weeks it was really quick and obviously you've got your tracking with Amazon so there's some progress pictures here of the picture this is actually the most recent diamond painting I did and he's poking his head through the railings on the stairs and there's like a towel draping over and he's poked his head through <laughs> cheeky cheeky boy so yeah there's another progress one there and I love the way that they shine and sparkle which diamonds reflect put that in there they don't yeah Rihanna they <laughs> they these sparkle unlike a diamond which reflects I don't, I don't know why it's called diamond painting but jewel painting maybe it's also called drill painting 5d painting uh, it goes by a few different names but the print on it was really clear now because there was a lot of beiges in there they were quite close together but that was the way it was in the photo anyway so but I had what I did actually. You know, one of those light. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put one just in the corner there. I put one of them under and it lit up and it made it much clearer to follow. Now, it was the only thing for me, the diamonds came in these little plastic things, which once you've ripped them open, you could probably seal them up with some sellotape but I like them in the little bags where you can seal them up that was the only thing for me really and how close the colours were together but that was the end result then just filling in a little bit here so you can see but it was a very satisfying kit and I'm very happy with it and now it turned out and obviously it's a tribute it arrived fast everything like that all the there was a, a very small amount of the glue the pink square thing which turned up but I had more which I'd I don't throw them away I leave them in case a kit turns up and it doesn't have one in it but overall I was made up with it and I'd recommend it off Amazon as well so my my favourite recommendations are this seller on Amazon and the Victoria's Moon definitely and the AliExpress one obviously you don't know if sometimes they these diamond paintings rip off someone else's artwork and that's never a cool thing so uh, what I'd do is I'd put your own make sure it's a it's a 
no upload your own photos and your own work and then you can't be piddling anyone off with taking someone else's artwork but it's always good to support a genuine company so they're my recommendations anyway so I thought I'd keep you up to date on diamond painting wise and tell you what what I think it's just my opinions and if anyone disagrees you know yeah, that's fine it's, it's okay but yeah overall love that one brilliant that little cocker locker there wonderful cat and oh yeah I got that one as well a picture of St. Bees which I did as well that's my own photo and that was off the hua can of again sorry if I'm saying it wrong very enjoyable turned out nice should have got it bigger and square drills again thanks for watching I shall see you again soon that's the actual photograph and I'll put in all my Instagrams and everything like that so you can see my photographs on was a photography which I've got a YouTube and an Instagram thanks for watching take care and bye for now <laughs>